All right. Back on December 9th, 2020, I sent you guys all this email about applying for paid internships for summer 2021. There is currently um, five different positions available that you can apply for. So there's two main internships at Hudamaki, the Industrial Electrical Technician Internet Hudamaki and the Industrial Mechanical Technician Internet as well. Um, they also have a non-internship position, which is a general summer labor that students may apply to if they want to, um, but that application won't be available until February or March. Um, at Novellus, there's two different internship opportunities, the mechanical technician and the electrical technician. And at EJ Co, there's an engineering intern. So when you're doing Hudamaki and Novellus, um, if you click on these links right here, if I hover my mouse over this link and I click on this, it'll take me to the actual website, which gives me more specific details about this um, position. But for this specific video, I'm gonna focus on just Novellus. So let's say I'm a student um, who's looking at mechanical technician internet Novellus. I'm gonna click on this link right here. And I'm gonna click right here. Um, it takes me to their main page right here. And if you look here, it's the position overview. It's a mechanical technician beginning on around May 20th. And it doesn't give me too much information on the website, but I um, spoke to Dave Lloyd who sent me a bunch of information about this opportunity. So when you're applying for this, you have to actually make an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So apply for this job online and it says enter your email. Uh, make sure you take a few minutes to read this privacy notice. I'm gonna type in my email. I have read and accept the Novellus privacy policy and we're not European Union residents, so we leave that unchecked. I press next. Um, so I'm gonna fill out this profile as if I were this. Please upload your resume and it says any additional document. So when I do that, um, you guys should have your resume handy. So I'm gonna open up my resume. Okay, I'm gonna click on file. So right now it's in Google Docs because I've been working at it on Google Docs. I'm gonna click on file, download as a PDF. A PDF is so much easier to open because when it comes to Google Docs, you don't know if people are gonna have access to it. So this is my resume as a PDF and my cover letter as well, which I'll go over soon. So, my resume, I'm gonna open it from my computer and downloads Louise resume. It says here uh, additional documents, um, which you can enter if you want to, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a username. Um, Wendy Ruiz, my email, how did you hear about us? I'm just pretending that I'm a student. I'm gonna click on, other, please specify, I'm just gonna write P-TECH. Desired salary, you don't need to click on that if you want to, um, or you don't need to, you can leave that alone if you want to. Please feel to provide any additional comments to support your application. You can write that, I am a senior within the Oswego County P-TECH program. I have been looking forward to internship opportunities for a few, few years now. Um, you could say, if you have um, a mentor from Novellus, feel free to write the name of your mentor. Or if you have a mentor from another company, 
you can say, I have been working with a mentor from Hudamaki for a few years now, and it's made me really interested in uh, internship opportunity at one of the local industry partners. Or you could say, I've, my dad works at Novellus. Um, feel free to write any additional comments. When it comes to your, um, let me talk about the additional documents. You can upload your cover letter. So I wanna go over the cover letter. So this is a cover letter that I made pretending I was a student. Um, and most of you guys have done this, but look at the top lines are my name, my address, city, state, today's date or a date. And I've made, I've sent you guys out a letter of who it should be for. Um, and you'd write, Dear Mr. Dave Floyd. I have a paragraph about, in my first paragraph, I am writing the actual position that I'm applying for. In this case, I'm applying for the mechanical technician intern position at Novellus. I'm being very specific about that. All right, so in your first paragraph, make sure that you are writing the specific position that you're interested in, which is the mechanical technician intern position at Novellus, or if you're interested in the electrical te technician intern at Novellus, then you'd write that. Or if it's a Hudamaki letter, you'd change a letter for Hudamaki, you would change this information um, and you would write the industrial mechanical technician intern at Hudamaki. Um, and when you sign your email, I suggest doing this sincerely, comma, and do three spaces in between, and then your name printed. And if you have the opportunity, try to print this out, um, sign your name, your actual signature, and then upload it as a PDF, and I can show you guys how to do that. But same thing for the cover letter. You wanna file, download as a PDF. A PDF is so much easier to send over email because the um, other person is able to open it easier. I know here it gives you um, an option to do the Google Drive, but I would just stick to the actual PDF document. So I'm gonna insert my cover letter. Um, so there's all that information. I'm gonna submit my profile. Once I've done this, are you 18 years of age or older? Some of you are gonna say yes, some of you guys are gonna say no, depends on your birthday. It's are you age, are you 18 years of age or older today? Have you ever been by employed? No. Are you related to any current Novellus employees? If you are, go ahead and yes. Um, but if not, then just say no. Do you now or will you in the future need sponsorship from an employment in order to obtain, extend, or renew your authorization to work in the United States? Most of you say, I'm assuming the answer is no. Okay. These right here are um, diversity characters, I, characteristics. I believe um, this is optional. You do not have to make these decisions or you do not have to um, answer these questions. They will not impact your employment or be used to make employment decisions. So that is up to you if you guys want to. Um, if you guys want to select that or not. So here's a signature. So if you want, you can put your gender, um, your sexual orientation, your ethnicity, and your race. So that is up to you if you guys want to. In the diversity section, there's also an option where you says, you can write, I prefer not to answer, and you're more than welcome to. There's a voluntary self-identification and veteran status. Um, I believe you can just leave this blank because this does not pertain to you. Um, a voluntary self-identification of disability. Um, some of this could lead to any of the following things. Um, you're being asked this to provide an equal opportunity to qualified people with disabilities. Completing this form is voluntarily, but they hope that you'll fill it out any answer will be kept private and not used against you in any way. Um, it could be with PTSD, um, major depression, schizophrenia, intellectual disability. 
um, diabetes. So you can click on, yes, I have a disability. No, I don't have a disability or I don't wish to answer. And check my bar, mark the signature. And you can go ahead and read this. I'm gonna click on submit. Oh, signature two required. I forgot this right here. Oh, right here. Do, do not click on anything right here um, because this doesn't pertain to you, but make sure you check mark off, check mark all these signatures here, here, and here. So it says your application has been successfully received. Thank you for, for your application. You are currently submitted to this job. So that's it. So if you'd like, um, let's say you wanna go back and do the one for Hudamaki, you'd click hover over here. Um, it'll take you to the website and you click on apply. And this one has a little, it's, the process is longer for applying here. And I think there's more information to fill out, but it's sort of familiar. The only change you'd have to do is for your cover letter, you have to make a different cover letter for Hudamaki and make sure you change the name of this position from mechanical, I forget, um, industrial mechanical technician intern at Hudamaki. 